so what you need you need your reflected ceiling plan and what we need for a sketch up uh, we don't need to see the switch legs and uh, the switches outlet we don't need those okay the only thing that we need we need the light fixtures and also to place it in the right location we need some guideline and probably that would be our walls so I would select with I would use isolate select one wall I don't know if you have exterior or interior maybe select one of each and I select one of light fixture or maybe two I don't know depends some people has different layer for different lights so this is what I need and here you go I have everything that I needed I have my lights and I have my walls next step Control C and I open a new AutoCAD drawing I mean the empty AutoCAD drawing and I Control V here then I would save it as uh, this is probably a ceiling ceiling I don't know put it you light. know sorry ceiling light like no make put a name that you know it's a sketch up so anytime you can put all of them in Sharon folder but this one probably is uh, sketch up ceiling something that if you need it again you can find it easily so <clears throat> you can open a new sketch up or you can go to your existing sketch up so I don't have uh, Carlos sketch up here so what I would do you know what I would open a new sketch up but you can it doesn't I mean you can import it to your sketch up okay who's the sketch up is it? I would import it here okay so I would go right click not right click I go to import and I go where I save this one uh, it should be AutoCAD and I need to select inches import okay most of the time SketchUp bring it under your plan okay it's place it exactly what you have your plan but I don't need it here I wanted to bring it out and most of the time will have you will have hard time to select it see if I click here and I try to move it so I'm moving the floor so what you can do just select the floor and hide it okay when you hide the floor you can easily select your lighting okay so what I did I select the floor hide it now I select my ceiling and I move it out of that area I move it I don't copy it I copy it by mistake so I move it out okay and then I would bring back the ceiling okay I mean the floor and now this would be my guideline for my ceiling okay uh, what I need I don't need to have a perfect outline for my ceiling because again I see some of you guys spend time to change the thickness of the ceiling honestly what would happen at the end you are standing in here and you are looking at inside you don't see the thickness of the ceiling you don't see sometimes if I don't have time I would just draw a big rectangle I mean something that it's really cover everything for example I don't know maybe I started from here to here okay it doesn't matter because I don't see it okay the only thing that it's crucial I need a point that any time I can select the ceiling and place it there that's crucial so I don't know if I'm using this one I know that always I have to select this corner and I can place it here okay or uh, I don't know maybe you can go from the outside outside it's maybe better maybe I do something like that okay I would just moving this one so now I can grab anytime this corner and place it here okay so it's it's up to you the only thing the important part is you need a point that you can place it 
I don't mind if you want to go and go the detail and do everything you know you can just really do the ceiling like that and delete this part it's fine nothing is wrong you just have you are spending a little bit more time that you don't really need it here I did a mistake see here it sh I should cover everything so I would move this one here so as long as I'm covering the whole ceiling I'm fine I don't need to go to detail uh, the next thing that you can do you can start adding the see I have all the information that I need and I can just add my lighting okay if uh, when you are adding the light in next project that we have with each other with podium I would give you guys the light fixture for podium and you just place them there because they have light in this case because you are not rendering I don't know maybe you can you can make it yourself it's not a big deal so you can just see this one I would add a little bit thickness maybe six and I triple click and I make a group then I go and I start adding my light fixture so for the recess light if I'm making them I add a circle find the center from here to here maybe I can use offset here to here then uh, again I don't know really the detail of your light fixture you can just do it any way that you want okay that makes sense this one maybe it's a little bit less then I just add the material if it's color add the color if it's met metal uh, you can go to the material and add metal so really it depends on your style and what you are doing but I would triple click make a group and I apply for example this method so uh, if if you think that you might change the, the you want to change the material later make a component okay uh, don't make a group because then if you want to modify anything you have to go and change it one at a time but uh, Rush, I now I am uh, confused if I done it a component, what would be the difference between component and, uh, um, and blo uh, block? The difference and between group. component and this is a group. Okay, if I select this one and I copy it, you can select all. See, if I copy this one, okay, this was a group. Now, what I would do. I would copy this one here okay and I explode it because I want to make it so this time I would make a component you can name it and then if I copy this one okay the difference is I told you if you wanna you think you might change it make a component why because if for some reason you decide okay I don't want to be metal I want to make it the black color or white color so if it's a group when I change one of them it just one of them is changed I have to go and modify all of them at, you know once you know uh, each time separately but if it's a component when I change one of them they all would change so okay. component if you have more than one you're gonna make a component if you have uh, just the one or you don't same as AutoCAD, component same as AutoCAD. is like a block in AutoCAD and block. probably yes. a group is like uh, you know group in AutoCAD you can group a stuff in AutoCAD okay, okay. so Thank you. and uh, yeah this is one way you are making it yourself or you can go to the warehouse okay and oh this is the wrong one you go to warehouse and probably you can find recessed light recessed ceiling light and uh, I don't know this is worse than what I did okay I don't know do you guys have any like this the problem with this type of light is sometimes you have to make a hole in your ceiling 
so maybe it's better if you know just use what you have unless you have a specific type of light see if I put this one here uh, I don't know if it's upside down let me see if I flip it along blue no um, so because see it's kind of our ceiling has this is a picture actually it's not that amazing anything no it's just an image it's not uh, so my guess is it's easier if you do it this way because otherwise you end up with something that you have to make a hole inside the ceiling and it would be too much or if you want I can give you guys some uh, light fixture I have some I can give it to you guys and the good thing about that that's the podium light fixture and it would make the hole by itself so what you have to do uh, you have to go inside the group because see we made a group of this one so if you don't want to make it yourself the way that I did you go inside the group control V oh I didn't select it so select it control C you go inside the group control V and here you go see now it would make a hole and everything then I can move it place it you know here so now what I have to do, my suggestion is instead of putting it here, you know, putting it at the one corner. I start from here. I go inside, control, okay, what's happening? Control C, I go inside the group and I control V here okay the whole my point is then if I start from one corner then because I can look at it from here then hopefully you place your light fixture at the same distance so I can control my light fix I select my light fixture and copy it from here to here So then I use X2, then I select all three and I copy them from here, control. See, I'm not really going really to detail. I'm, it's just approximately I put it in the right place. Then X uh, again, two. Then I select this one, copy it. I go to the red direction. Then I move it to here. Oh, I have to copy it. I moved it, but you get the idea. So then I copy this one here. Then I select this two and I copy this to here. Then times one, two, three times three. So as you can see, I just place them like this. And most of the time, honestly, you don't see that much the recess light. Something that is really obvious and you will see is the pendant light. So this is I don't need it. And I guess there was another one. I just delete those. So now how can I place the pendant? Again, the same thing. You go to the warehouse and you find something that you it's close to what you have and you place it. So... I don't know what what is really your pendant light, but here I go to pendant light, or I don't know, modern pendant light, anything that helps you guys to find what you need. Then you download it. Sometimes you have no choice, by, but you have to make the light. So if you have that type of light that you cannot find it, oh my gosh, this is an image. People put everything in their house. Okay. Uh, I can't trust them anymore. Maybe I grab this one. OK, 
Okay, so then the crucial part is you have to select it. I import it, then I go and grab some point that I can place it. For example, I grab center, then I have to place it at the center of this circle. So uh, sometimes it's not easy and sometimes it doesn't matter. If it's not exactly center, nobody will notice. So I just place it here. Uh, then again, the same thing. Anything that you have, you just use this ceiling plan and place it. If you have a if you have a cove light, okay, if you have a type of ceiling that it's dropped, you have a hidden light, the same thing. For example, imagine that I have a cove light here. If you have it, for sure you have it in your plan, your ceiling plan, so you see something like that. So you're gonna, we can use push-pull tool. Uh, because I don't have your plan, I just do something like that, then I don't know, I can use offset and I offset this one a little bit out. Then uh, I don't know, this could come down. Uh, really depends on your design. I'm just doing something. If it's not like that, maybe it's the other way. So, for example, uh, what I can do, for example, I see the part that it's visible and it's the big part. So I see this one and I bring it maybe six inch. Okay, then I have to bring it down. Maybe I bring this one because this is the part that I see. I bring it six inch down too and I just add, I have to add something here to connect it to the ceiling. How can I do that? I just hide this one and I just go on top of this one and I offset this one, for example, I don't know, 10 inch, 6 inch, and see I bring this one, and I, I don't know, I bring this one 6 inch, so I bring this one up 6 inch. Then I triple click and make a group, then I unhide my seating. So uh, really it depends on the detail and what you have, but it's really simple. Depends how you want to do it. You can, you know, add it like that. So anything that you want, you add it, light fixture, everything. Then I would select them all and I make a group, okay? Did I make a group? No, it didn't make a group. Why? Okay, everything, make a group. Okay, now uh, the next thing, now I have my ceiling. Now I have to add my views. Before I put the ceiling, I make my views, okay? So I have my top view, that's useful because anytime that I'm lost, I come here. So now I want to add some nice, you know, uh, view. You have to grab this guy and place it. Usually, unfortunately, this drawing is empty. I don't have anything, but uh, I would place it really at the end of the room and I look at the view. Okay, if I can see enough, if I'm happy, I would just save it. If I don't see everything that I want, we have no choice but hiding some wall. By hiding, I, I mean I would put it in different layer, okay? So for now, I would imagine that I'm happy with this one and I would save it and I change the name to, I don't know, for example, this is bedroom, I would bedroom one or bedroom to window, anything that help you guys to understand which view is this one. Then I go to top view. Now I wanted to have a nice view of, for example, this closet, okay? I want to have a really nice view and if I place my camera here okay so first of all see the height is wrong for I don't know for some reason it put it in the wrong place so I just put it again make sure in, on the floor see the height and the right bottom of the screen says 5 feet 6 and I know it's okay I can use the walk and I go backward, but now see this wall is blocking me. So if 
there is something that it's part of, for example, the wall and it's blocking you to get a view that you really like, even if it's cheating a little bit, sometimes we do this. Okay, so it's up to you. If you can get any the, the, the view that you like without cheating, it's perfect. But if you really want to show, I don't know, imagine that there is something there that you really want to show and now this wall is blocking me. So what can I do? Uh, first of all, if I'm overall I'm happy with this view, I would save it. No, no, I don't save it. Sorry, my bad. Don't save it yet. Uh, I would go and I make a new layer because see, this part is blocking me from seeing what I wanted. What I have to do, I make a new layer. Okay, I would make a new layer. And I put it probably, again, it's something, because sometimes you have to hide a few wall. Make sure that you're naming it the way that you understand which wall is it. For now, I would put, for example, a uh, fat room wall, or maybe I just add hide h dash bathroom wall, so I know I'm hiding this one. Anything that it helps you guys to memorize, or bathroom to hide, bathroom wall to hide, anything that you memorize. Then the next thing that I have to do, I have to put the part that is blocking me in that layer. So it's, how can I put anything in the layer? I have to bring the layer toolbar. So I right click here and I bring the layers. See, this is my layer toolbar. Okay, so then because it's a group, I have to go inside the group and I don't need to hide everything. I just need to hide this part. I can select them all, press control, this one, this one, and this one. But for now, I don't select this one and I imagine that I just, see, I go here and I put them in H bathroom or hide wall bathroom. Then I come here and I just hide them. Okay, then I place my camera where I want it. I place my camera here. Still, there is something in blocking me. Now I just select them. Anything after, you know, you can just add anything later. I just put it in H bathroom. These two line, I can press Ctrl and I select them. And I put them in hide bathroom. So now, see, it's not blocking me. Again, don't do something that it's really, don't cheat a lot, but I don't know, a little bit usually it's fine. So for example, for some reason, I don't know for what reason, but I wanna see this part and that together, and that part was blocking me. So I hide them, then, I mean, I put them in layer and I, you know, turn the layer off, then I save this view. Okay, when I save this view and I put it again, I don't know, closet, I don't know, closet, uh, I don't know, two, whatever. And now I have closet two, I have bathroom. The good thing about, you know, setting up this way, if I go back to my top view, see everything is back. I don't need to go and unhide everything. So see the wall is back, but if I go to bathroom, okay, sorry, if I go to closet, see that wall is gone. If I move back, see the wall is not there anymore. So depends on the view and you can control those, but I don't, su I suggest do not touch anything here. See when you are setting a scene, you are telling a sketch up to uh, keep the visibility of the layer and hidden geometry according to what you see at that point. Okay, so here you go. I hide that wall and I save it. So now I would do one more. I will go to top view. See everything is back. And uh, what do I need? I don't know. I know I'm not sure if we need anything else to hide. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's imagine that I want to get a nice view of uh, this part of the closet. Okay, I place my camera here 
and see I can't if I go backward I can't go more than that and I don't see everything but for some reason I really want to show this view to my client so what I can do again I go to the maybe top view I make another layer see I make another layer I call it uh, I don't know again I don't know the name of this area I just put wall to hide the uh, two okay and then I have to go inside this layer select this one and I from here I go to wall to hide the two and from here I would hide it so now from now on anything that I put on that layer it would be hidden so I select this one and I put it wall to hide select this one wall to hide and I guess that's it so if I place my camera again here and if I back go backward a little bit and maybe I just change my view a little bit so it you have to play a little bit to see if you can get what you want okay so Maybe I just tilt my head a little bit so I see, oh my gosh, see something like that. I don't know. If that's what you like, again, you go to scene and you save this one and you name it whatever you want and here you go. So if I go to the closet two, see this wall is hidden. And I can see whatever if I go to uh, this scene this wall is hidden and I can see whatever I want if I go to top view all the wall are back and I have nothing to do so when I change this one I see everything uh, I think I didn't explain about the section 2 to your group did I mention section because you can use section to I don't know for if you want to sh give Sharon one view of this area completely you can use section so it's really simple they have a toolbar for that if I go to section uh, sections this is the toolbar for section so imagine that I want to have this view okay but if I place my camera here I can't see everything so and I cannot really place my camera anywhere else so if I you know there is no way that I can place my camera here and hide everything so what I can do I just see this one when I click here SketchUp led me to place the section plane so I place it on this wall and then the next thing that I can do I can select it okay then you can name it again you can put it section 1 or section to the closet okay anything uh, section to closet and I press OK so then see this section is not in the right place I want to go further it's really simple click on it when it's changed to blue you can use move tool and it's like anything else you click once and you are moving it see it's moving 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 I'm happy with this section then uh, we can select the, uh, this again and it has an option align view and what it does SketchUp go straight to that view okay the only problem here is I have too many things okay this object and everything is kind of making my section a little bit bigger than what I need but uh, here you go if you want you select align view okay now it's better uh, then if you don't want to see it as a perspective because in real life when we do the section it's not like that okay this is perspective do you remember how can I change my view from perspective to not perspective you have to go to camera and two point sorry parallel projection and here you go see that's exactly you know if you see that elevation so this line I have a question yes 
Uh, suppose uh, now I have the, the building, the front of me like that, and then I can build the uh, cabinets inside it. Yeah, you can. You know what I mean? I mean, uh, suppose I have it empty now, I have the cabinets, I build it outside, I bring it and put it there. Or if I, I go to the uh, uh, storeroom, warehouse, I find things like cabinets, I can copy it, download it, and put one knee to each other as a section. Like example, I'm asking, I don't know if it could happen or not. It Was could like happen, but I don't see why do we need to do that, because... You can do it in any view. You don't need to be in this view. And keep in mind, when you are using section, if you put something here, you don't see it. SketchUp cutting everything and show everything here. So if I move this one here, it would hide. So it's not a best practice to work on this way. This is mostly to, you know, get a view. Anything behind this, it's not visible. So then uh, if... So the next thing, yeah, I would go and, you know, uh, parallel my view with this one if I want. See, align the view. I can zoom in a little bit. If you are happy with this, this line is bothering me. See, this is the section toolbar. If I click here, that line disappear. Uh, if I click here, the section completely is gone. See the section coming back, section, it's better if I show you guys this way. So this one, remove the section. This one, bring back the section. This one, show the cutting edge of section. And this one, when you have the section, if you select this one, SketchUp, if you are using the newer SketchUp, uh, SketchUp would hatch the wall. It's not always working perfectly. See here, you see the, like a, really cutting thing. If I remove it, then you see inside. Okay, sometimes it's nice if you just select it. So now what I would do, I would bring back this one. Uh, sorry, I bring this one, select it, right click, align the view, then I go where I want. And I don't know, you can export it for Sharon as a JPEG, or you can just, uh, you know, maybe remove this one. Uh, make the this the wall to be hatched and then you can save it I don't know if you want you can save it as a scene so later on you can come back and do something uh, the last thing that I want to explain maybe you have more than one section what about if I want another section it's fine you just bring back your everything okay then I can place another section this time I would place it maybe here how can I move it? Again, you can name it. How can I move it? I select it and I go to move and move it. I don't have anything to see here. Okay. Uh, you know what? I would move it all the way here. It's fine. Uh, see, but it's in the wrong direction. Actually, I want to see that part. It's really simple. So you select it, right click, reverse. Now I have my section from here. Okay, you can select, when you select it, there are some options. Reverse, active, cut, align. I can make it align. The same thing, so I see from front, no perspective, because I changed the camera, remember, to parallel. And then, uh, if I don't want to see this line, I remove it. And I don't know if that's something that you want, you add it as a scene. Okay, now what about if... I want to, you know, go back to my previous cut. First of all, you have to bring all your cuts. Now I see all of them. Then I can select this one and make it as an active cut. Now see, this is my active cut. And then I can, you know, hide it. I can, I know, if I want to align it first, I align it. You know, I, uh, wait a second. I bring it, I select this one, make it active cut, then I right click, I can align the view, then I can just remove it and do whatever I want. Uh, don't, if you wanna have different cut, don't reverse it because then you're gonna lose the other one. 
Okay, my suggestion is, for example, if you need another cut from other section, do it. Just add one here, select it, and move it where you want. So in that case, now you have both of them. If I reverse it, I would lose the other one. Okay, so that's it. If I want to active the other one, right-click, active cut, right-click, align, and that's it. So I think it was a little bit fast. I would put this video on the classroom. I'm not sure really if you need it or not, but if you need it, you can use this. If by any chance you want to give a plan to Sharon with no perspective, it's the same thing. I mean, we don't need to add a cut, but uh, you know what? Remove all the cut and everything. Then go to the top view. Okay. And then hopefully you have all the floor finish, the furniture, everything. And you can just, you know, export this because it's the parallel view. Remember, if you go to perspective, then you see something like that. So I don't know. If you want to get a plan, you can go to parallel view. And the last thing that I would do, I have all view that I needed. I grab the ceiling and I place it. I think I set it up from here. Am I right or no? No. Uh, where did I set up my... Okay. Where did I set up my... Okay. You know what? Maybe I grab this corner and I place it. Here. I hope that I put, but now if I go to those views that I have, uh, bedroom one, see now I have the light fixture, everything is there. By any chance, if you realize, okay, now I want to see a better view of my light fixture, you can modify it a little bit. Make sure that you save it as a new scene, or you can right-click and update your scene. Okay, otherwise, if you don't do that, anytime that you go to this view, you're going to see it again as you save it before. If you want to modify anything a little bit, so modify it. I mean, uh, update it or save it as a new scene so what else that's it if i go to any view now i have my ceiling see the ceiling is there i see the cove light if i go to this one uh, again that's fine this is this view that i removed the wall and this is that view that i removed that wall the only thing is the ceiling that i put there it's nothing to do with this plant so it's not it doesn't make sense Okay, guys, so I have to run. If you have any question, please email me. And if, we need, if you need any help, I can meet you guys even after.